Hi everybody. Oh, it is so windy today. I am just absolutely, I don't know, cold. But I have a sweatshirt I can put on. So what's new? What's new? Oh, I wanted to say something before I got going. Um, Because that probably was my last... Uh, uh, um, I Kate House order because I'm not into LA colors. Um, but on my video, I'm addicted to food videos, which I'm over now. I'm over. Okay, okay, I did it. I, I'm over it. But um, Jennifer R. Thank you so much. She she said a cheap throwaway jewelry is at shopmissa.com. Love the place, Jennifer. Thank you so much. Just wanted to give a quick, you know, I really thank you, thank you. I went there and it's like, oh, I think it's free shipping if you spend $30 or something. I can do it. <laughs> I'll just pay jewelry for me and my daughter. Uh, these are some of the the last order ones. And I think they're okay. I'm just not into gold lately. Uh, I just, you know. So what's new? I've been working on a project. Um, I guess it's kind of like a grant. It's over with. I Now it's a wait and see. So everybody put their little hands together. Please pray for me. It is, it's a wait and see, <laughs> but it's over with. I'm so over paperwork. I have one final pile I have to put away. It'll be over with. <laughs> I did my roots yesterday and I thought, oh, cause okay, I had a full um, uh, hair dye to do, you know, so I had to go shopping because I'm making breakfast burritos today. And I decided, okay, well, let me stick to the dye first and then I'll tell you the burritos. <laughs> so anyway, you know, it's, so I already had a whole hair dye. So I thought, well, how come I just couldn't measure up the hair dye? So Clairol gives you a little tub, a little brush, and then their proportion is like, I think it's like 0 0.05, 0 0.507 fluid ounces. So I saved that so I could have measurement. And I think I'll take the hair dye when my roots need to be done next time and just do that and seal it back up and see how many root kits I can get out of it. Why not? Why not? I hate doing my whole hair. Plus, I'm actually not doing anything but the front part now. I want to see what the back looks like, you know, how much white I have. I'm so happy I found underneath all my paperwork. Oh, some of it I don't think has been moved. I um, this utility knife that was given to me by Michelle. And it's one of the, you know, the ones that have a little bit of everything. It has like screwdriver, screwdriver, scissors, knife. I don't know what. So I need to put that back in my purse. I, it, you know, there's a part of me that really is a big survivalist. I bought this coffee at Walmart because I would like to put some stuff back. So I thought, well, I'd try it. It's Master Chef. It's like the cheapest on the shelf. So I made a pot this morning and it was so bad. It was so bad. So I made another pot of coffee just now. Oh, let me savor. 
Oh, oh, good tasting, good tasting coffee. So yesterday I went to Walmart because it was toilet paper time. I always have to go if it's toilet paper time. I just am spoiled that way. I like toilet paper, <laughs> preferably soft toilet paper. My daughter and I, we have debates. She says, look, if it wipes your, whatever, do it. Who cares? I mean, she could care less if her toilet paper is soft, but I like soft toilet paper. I don't know about you guys. I, we could get a big comment going, comments going in the comment section, but I like soft toilet paper. Just do. So anyway, so I decide, okay. So one, I bought a can of that coffee and two I was standing in front of the the uh, tortilla shells going I really hate to make burritos I really hate oh, oh it makes me nuts so then I thought well why are you making them so it was like you know I probably looked like I was debating um, you know like you know I had to do a dissertation on tortilla shells but I was thinking to myself Claude why do you do this so either shut up and make them and enjoy them or don't make them but you've got to come to a conclusion about this because you can't bitch about making them and I'm not taking it out I'm leaving it in that one word or just don't make them you know I mean if you if if you really hate doing it that much, then don't do it. And I decided that, yeah, it's it takes me a long time because I'm not a patient person when cooking. I prefer one pot shopping. <laughs> Just put everything in one pot and cook it, and, <laughs> and I'm a happy camper. So I decided that I was not I was going to be of good cheer when I make breakfast burritos today. I was not going to be in a bad mood. No, 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 no. So I got the Gray's box. And apparently, because uh, Amanda sends these to me from Gray's.com. And she just decided that, I don't know, I need more. So basically, I get, I get a snack a day now from them. <laughs> so let's see what I got this time. I've got to go on and tell them, please stop sending granola toppers. I don't, I, I, I don't want stuff in my yogurt. Ooh, hot pepper and jam. So these are multi-grain, multi-grain rice cakes, crack, rice ca crackers. Can I read? So this is what they look like except there's two layers. I used to only get one layer, and now I get two. Antioxidant, vitamin E, and nuts, honeycomb, flatjacks, love that one. They're like um, thick, um, it's like a granola. Um, oh, and thank you, Joan, for the linga berry or whatever. Thanks, I love Joan. I love Joan, I just do. June bug. I'll put her link below. She knows everything about food. Everything. I told her thank you. I didn't have to look it up now. Um, this is strawberries, blueberries, cranberries, and chewy banana slices. See, that's what they look like. Uh, everything bagel, poppy seed, onion, peaches, and cream. I love that one. I just need them to stop sending me I just, well, either that or just keep saving them to get to Kylie. Kylie will eat them. Um, deconstruct it. Carrot cake. So, ooh, looks like a good one. Well, thanks. Thank you, Amanda. So, you know, I was going to, to um, talk about a couple new people I've been watching. And I hope that I can find them. I should have wrote this down. I may have to. I may have to pause this and write them down. Because you know, I don't want to be going through all this. 
Uh, I've been watching, I believe his name is Rick, but don't, because I just found him. And it's all our questions. And he, you know, he, he tackles things like the last, the one I, the last one I watched was, what is whatever, you know, like, are, you know, are prescription drugs good for you after they expire? I really like them. I'll put a link to them. <clears throat> then I'm tr really trying because I love Tabs and Baby. I think she's so authentic. She's just so genuine. I just love her. Uh, can, can I say more things like that? Authentic, genuine? No, seriously. I really love her. Um... I've been watching, you know, the, oh, and then Snow S Snow Dog Vlogs. Um, I watch all of you guys, <laughs> you know that. But these are three people. I'll put their, so it's Snow Dog's Vlogs, All Our Questions, um, and Tabs and Baby. I've been really enjoying their channels. Let's see, so other than doing my roots, I tried to um, do um, Instagram the other day, and it totally was like freaking out on me. So um, I rebooted the phone and found that a lot of other things work really better now. <laughs> so I'm going to be trying to do, I tried to do some Instagramming when I did my roots. It, boy, was it a wreck doing my roots. I forgot the towel. So I had to like grab paper towel and just put my, you know, bring up my hair and then go look for my dye towel. I have a, a towel just for dyeing my hair. And uh, I haven't seen my grandkids. I'm getting lonely for them. Um, so I'm thinking about going over this weekend my daughter just, they moved their office, they opened a new office, and she's been busy doing all that. But I'd be glad to babysit. So I need to call her and talk to her. She's really cool though. She'll say, well, come on over. I'll go grocery shopping. You can hang out with the kids or we'll all do dinner or something. So I better get with my breakfast burritos because I love making them. I'm really going to really try to be of good cheer. Um, and um, I was going to barbecue, believe it or not, but the wind is like, I'm not sure that I can stand up in the wind. I really don't think it's a good idea to be barbecuing in that much wind. <laughs> so I, <laughs> I'm just... Well, it's just awful. Oh, okay, I gotta go. Well, I'm cooking. I'm of good cheer. So far, so good. Oh, and I forgot to tell you, there's a part of me that says, don't, don't say anything. Because, I mean, I don't, I don't want this guy to think I'm stalking him. It's like the last internet crush I had on the, I can't even remember his name now. I got over it. But it's the Lord Humongous. I'll put his link. He's like half my age. He's so cute. He's got the hair to his shoulder. He's a survivalist. Um, but he talks more on the political part of it. Most of the time I don't hear what he says. But, you know, he does bring up very valid points as to, you know, you know, like some of his things is he was discussing the internet odds of, um, or the betting odds on Trump and Hillary. <laughs> and the one thing you should probably not stockpile, uh, the one thing to make sure you stockpile about economic collapse, is just, I just, I, I enjoy him. I, I don't even know what his name is. I can't think. I tell you, I don't really hear what he says, but I'll put, I'll, I'll mention link below. Go over and give him check him out um you know he's probably 
he's a little too radical for me. But I enjoy him. I enjoy hearing his point. It's a counterpoint a lot of times to what I believe. And what, I've got a loose hair. So I'm frying the hash brown. Bacon's in the oven. And I'm of good cheer. Not really so far I am. I've decided just not to stress over it. You know. Um, I mean, I figured out, I think, the one thing that was holding me up really bad on the, was the tortillas. Because um, I would put them in the refrigerator. Um, and you don't, you, you don't try to roll up cold tortillas. No. So I always nuke them. So I think now that I've got that down, I'm much better off. Yay! For learning. Everything in life is a learning process, I swear. So it's just third day. I mean, do you ever have those days where you just wish you you actually knew something? <laughs> it seems like life is one big learning process. Which is cool. I like to learn. Um, it's just tiring at times. Everything's cooked. And this is where, before I assemble it all and start making them, I take a break. I, so far, so good. I have, I've not gotten too insane over this. It was funny because Susie just called. I was telling her that I was talking about um, having crushes. And that's why we all go to the awful coffee. <laughs> it's good coffee, but awful food. And... <laughs> We all go there because we all have a crush on, like, every, what do they call them? They're, oh, my brain. The guys that make coffee, they're actually called something, like, Bruce, the, uh, uh, well, whatever. Is We have crushes on the guys that make the coffee. <laughs> it's awful. So, anyway, I'm going to take a break. I started reading this book that Julie's nephew gave me. Uh, Mr. Pin Ubras, 24 hour bookstore, a novel by Robin Sloan. It is really interesting. So, see, I'm glad I started making breakfast burritos. So, I'll get back to you. Well, it's time to assemble them. I have everything put together. And I'm using smaller tortilla shells, so I don't know how this is going to work. Plus, I'm almost out of red um, saran wrap. These, oh, these things seem thicker. I don't know that I like thicker. Oh, okay. This isn't working really well. So I just kind of smash them up in the plastic. So anyway, I think that's it for me today. This is what I'm going to be doing. And maybe it's best I not film this part because I'm not sure that I don't swear like a sailor. My plastic wrap is all screwed up. So I have to take it off. Ow. And cut it with scissors. And I should just go buy a new box. Seriously. I just have to... I need to start making a running list. I'm just not, not good at it. But I think it's easier with even a brand new one just to cut them with scissors. But this is my glad holiday. So it was red. So I was going to look for some more red because I really like the red. So... Anyway, if you go over and see my internet crush, don't say anything. Just go over and peek. He's just to be an internet crush. Everybody should have a crush on somebody. Go find somebody to have a crush on. Don't stalk them. Don't be like the guy that I have to keep banning because he wants to rub against my long, beautiful hair. I mean, I'm not that type of person. I think it's just fun to have internet crushes. 
Thanks everybody for watching. I'm going to sit here and be highly frustrated. Oh man, this is really a bad one. Oh, the crap's all falling out of it. I gotta go on that note. I love you all. Bye-bye.